Hey there and welcome to Concept Hunter. My name is Kokersturd and today I have two games for you. It's actually a game and it's direct sequel. The first one is called I Saw Her Standing There and the second one is called I Saw Her Too with Lasers. Terrible name, but whatever. Uh, the reason, the, the thing is that the second game came out and I played it and it reminded me of the first game. And the second game, it is more of the same. It's different game mechanics. But the main thing that the game does that I want to talk about today is the narrative, the way that it conveys story, and that is in both games. That is the same thing in both games, so I feel fine by showing you just the first game and talking about the second game. Also, I will avoid spoilers for the second game, which picks off after the first game, and though it's a very short game with a very minor story, it's still something that I don't want to spoil and i rather avoid. So we're gonna check out the first game, and mention that the second game exists and that you should go and play it, as it's pretty nice. So let's refresh the page here and turn off the lights. No, don't, just turn off the lights. Okay, press the wrong button, never mind. We see that it's by Krang Games, fun by design. He is the person who designed both games, uh, but the first one was sponsored by My Play Art, and the second one is actually sponsored by Dr. Games, right? Yes, it's sponsored by Dr. Games. So those are the sponsored for each game. And it's by Cran Games. And let's start off immediately. I saw her standing there, is the name of the game. And we start off with this little person figure. And there's a pink one. So she's a she, because it's a her. And we walk up. And hello. And then she turns into a zombie. But then she was a zombie. And she knocks you over. And he has a heart over her head. First things first, I have cheats here because I finished it, which is nice, but let's talk about, but ignore that. Everything, everything, everything has already been done about zombies. However, this is kind of unique because your, your character is in love with a zombie girl and you don't want to kill her. You just want to, I don't even know. So let's find out together. Play game. Starting out from, from the get-go. Act 1, selfless devotion and stuff. I loved her, but she was a zombie. We get to move around, you can also jump. Movement is, uh, first thing you gotta talk about platformer. Movement is slick, it works, jumping is very high. But it's okay, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, higher the higher the better, I guess. And uh, it feels really good. It's the, the basic mechanics of a platformer that are so important are here done very, very well. I have full control. I don't feel like it's cheap in any way. It works. Let's get close to her. She turns from just purple to purple with green spots, meaning a zombie. She will follow me around if I reach truth. I am faster than her, however, and eventually she'll get in the cage. So I put her safe in a cage. I have a heart over my head. I knew she loved me too. And now a little bit of platforming. I knew she loved me too because she always tried to hug me. And here we get to, to, we start seeing the narrative. We start seeing how the story is conveyed and what every level actually tells us. Sometimes it's something about the gameplay itself. Sometimes it's just a cutesy little thing about the story and the relationship of this, this weird relationship that came out here. But it works really, really well. And most of it is because the levels are very short. Each level, even the last levels are really short. They're just, they take you 20, 30, maybe a minute if you're, I don't know, miss something. But you realize what you need to do and you go and you do it. And though the progression, specifically in the first game, the progression is kind of slow. The second game does it a little bit better. I will talk about that in a second. The progression is kind of slow in, in different new things that are happening. But it works. Because you get that reward at the start of every level and at the end of every level. You get the little reward because a little bit of story. Sometimes the cage was hard to reach. I'm glad she loves to follow me. She liked to escape from her cage. Come on, keep following me. She liked to escape from her cage, but I'd always put her back. It's really adorable. It's a, it's a weird little adorable love story that is weird, but conveyed in such a beautiful little way that I can't help but smile. 
the mechanics also are very unique. I mean, I don't know if I've seen some something that it always she always follows me around. I need to get her to a specific spot, and it's not direct control over her. It is a very specific control over what's happening in the level. And with that, there's the obvious platformer elements, such as platforms that go up and down, and uh, stuff like that. I love her because of her mischief. Because of her lovers in a dangerous time, Act 2. The little problem is that we do get new things only every act, and so we've had a lot of levels that are essentially the same. But now we're introduced to, there were other zombies as well, and these uh, other zombies also follow me around. Obviously, if they reach me, I will die, same as her. She's a little bit faster than them, however, and as far as when I get her to her cage, they all disappear. I didn't love them at all, so everything is fine in that sense. I think there will mean gone my way. I think that's pretty much what we need to, to see here, because there is a little bit more progression. I don't want to ruin it. You can check it out yourself. And the game is not very long. You saw we got through Act 1, there's Act 2, we're about halfway through it. Just a couple of levels through each act, and there's, there's Act 3, and the game is, is done. So what do we have here? Basic platforming done well, good job. Unique mechanic, not a ton of progression, but the unique mechanic stands for, stands strong, and because we have that narrative that is a very unique way that I really, really enjoy, and it's such a cutesy little way of doing it, it gives you a reward at the start of every level with a sentence, and then a completion to that sentence when you finish a level, that makes it, you really want to finish the level, you want to know what happens, and because it's, they're usually rather short, and if you die you just start again, and you, you know what you did wrong, and it's up, it's, it's only you that screwed up, they're very short, so you get that, and you continue on with the story, and the story really, you feel some, some kind of progression. And it works very well. It works very well. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's, it's just done very, very well. Now, this is the first game. There's a couple more new things uh, later on, but mainly this is it. The second game has the same narrative type of, of, of thing. They do, they do the same thing. But the gameplay itself is different. The gameplay here is a platformer, I move around, I'm jumping and stuff like that. It's a puzzle platformer because I have to kind of understand what I'm doing, but mostly it's, it's more platforming than anything else. The second game is more puzzler than anything else. It's called I Saw Her 2 with lasers, so the laser part kind of explains it's a lab, lab setting and you don't actually move around as a platformer, you actually just need to um, just activate switches and stuff like that. So you activate this, you activate that, uh, you activate this in the correct timing, you operate a switch at the correct timing, you have to think of a little bit about timing and, and um, basically just timing and think and understand what happens in the level. But it's the same mechanics in the way that, you know, uh, a zombie here, the other zombies will follow it and, and, and stuff like that, and they die and you need to get them together. So that's the, the, the same mechanics, the same narrative, but a different, a different, different gameplay. Okay, did I say that correctly? Did I put that across correctly? I hope so. I really enjoyed both games. I don't want to spoil the ending for this game because it starts off immediately for the start of the second game. That's why I showed this one. This is from 2012, I think, a year ago, and the new one just came out. So that was the one that I wanted to show. It's called I Saw Her Standing There, and the second one is called I Saw Her Standing There. Uh, I Saw Her Two with Lasers. And both of them were made by Crang Games, the first one sponsored by my Playyard, Playyard Games, and the second one sponsored by Doctor Games. Quite lovely, I recommend you play them, they'll take you 15 minutes, both of them, from start to finish, both of them, together, okay, each one takes like 7-8 minutes. Really cute, adorable little story and narrative, and uh, that's it, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you like it. I'll continue putting these up every week, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Later. See you next time.